Hey guys, good news, I have a fitness app. You get to work out live with me and other amazing trainers every single day. Go on, download Feel on the App Store or go to feellife.com and start your journey to become. Welcome back to another workout. I'm Joanna So and my goal today is really simple. is to get your arms on fire. So we'll be working on your biceps, your triceps, as well as your shoulders. Each workout will be for 45 seconds long with 15 seconds rest in between. And the best part is you will not be doing any workouts, okay? So what you'll need is a pair of lightweight dumbbells between two to three kilos each. If you do not have any dumbbells, just grab a pair of water bottles. So let's start by warming up our joints and also muscles. So just give me nice shoulder rolls, roll them back, good, small, and let's go bigger, nice. So just loosen up the joints, feel your shoulders, and now let's go forward, again small circles, and now let's make the circles bigger, good. And now just spread your arms, nice arm circles and reverse the movement. Good. And now just point both arms up. I just want you to open, spread your chest, and now squeeze them, bring them together, spread it out, and squeeze. So you should feel the stretch on your upper back as well as your chest. Good, so open, close, open, and close. Now spread your arms, bring them out, and bring it together, twist. You should feel the stretch on your upper back. Again, open up, push your chest out, Squeeze it, good. It's all about loosening up the joints and getting your muscles, especially your upper body, ready for a lot of upper body workout. Trust me, at the end of this workout, your arms will be on fire and good. Now just shake it out, relax a little bit and just give me a few shoulder presses without any weights, okay? So reach up, stretch up. Remember to stand up tall and reach as high as you can. Good, keep reaching, a few more. One more, and shake it out. Grab your dumbbells or your water bottles. Right, the first workout is going to be scare, crow, squeeze. So with both pairs of dumbbell, stand shoulder width apart, raise it to the side, side raise into an L raise, and then squeeze your arms together, okay? So open, bring it back down, and down, okay? So that is your first workout. Ready? In three seconds, let's do this together. So both dumbbells facing each other, raise it up to the side into an L raise, squeeze it, spread it, bring it back down and down. Good. Again, up to the side, L and squeeze it, open and reverse. Good. So you should feel the side of your shoulders as well as your chest working. Good, so do not drop your shoulders, okay? Always make sure that you're controlling every movement up, maintaining a nice shoulder level. So not too low or not too high up. Bring it down and back down, good. Up again, up, squeeze it, spread it out, bring it down and close, good. If you feel that the weights are too light, then challenge yourself and lift heavier. And rest it up, shake it out a little bit. Second workout, up right row to front raise. So again, with your palms facing inwards, dumbbells straight down, I want you to lift both dumbbells up to your chest level, bring it down, and give me a nice front raise, okay? Let's do it up, elbows pointed out, and front raise, good. So elbows pointed out, dumbbells close to your chest, back down, and nice front raise. Keep your elbows slightly bent throughout the workout. Front raise, palms facing down, Good, there you go. This workout will work on the front of your shoulders. Good, front raise. And an upright row, good. Keep going. You should also feel the flexibility and mobility of your joints as well. So again, up, close to your chest, not too high up, and give me a front raise, okay? So just right under your chest level, and back up. One more, and one more front raise, and shake it out. Steering wheel. This workout, what you'll need is just one dumbbell, okay? Imagine that you're holding a steering wheel and you're driving your car. That's it, it is as simple as that. So with both hands, grab one dumbbell, point it to the front, and imagine you're driving your car. So twist it to the left and to the right. Remember to keep your arms straight 
all the time, okay? That's the challenge. Do not drop your arms down. If you were to drop it down, then this is easy. Lift it up, twist, left to right, left to right, okay? Keep your elbows slightly bent, good. Keep going, Woo! Your arms should be on fire by now. Keep going, twist it, left and right, left and right, nice. Keep your arms up, do not drop them right now. I can feel your shoulders, I can feel your arms. Keep them up, good. Last one more, and drop it down. Grab another dumbbell, weighted punches, okay? So it's a jab punch with weights. Beginners, you can do this workout without any weights, okay? So, step one foot forward, your left foot forward, bring both dumbbells up, give me a jab and a punch, okay? That's it. So, twist your body slightly, nice straight jab and punches at your eye level. Good. So, jab and punch, jab and punch. Whew. If your arms are on fire, be sure to rate this workout five stars, okay? Go to the App Store and give us five stars rating, good. Keep punching, left and right, suck in your belly, tighten your core, twist your hips slightly, and keep working those arms. And you will be rocking sleeveless tops in no time. Keep going, nice. Whew. Get your shoulders on fire, get your biceps, your triceps, all working together. And just relax. Roll it up a little bit, roll it up, relax. The next workout is going to be a reverse fly with rotation, okay? This is a little bit challenging. So the typical reverse fly is to keep your knees bent, toes pointed forward, bend slightly forward, spread your arms to the side, okay? This is your reverse fly. With this workout, what I want you to do is give me a reverse fly. At the top, rotate the dumbbells to face up and back down, okay? That slight rotation will work more on your arms as well as your shoulders, good. If this is too difficult, then go back to reverse fly without the rotation, okay? As you progress, reverse fly, rotate, back down. Good, remember to bend from your waist. Rotate, woo! That just slight twist and rotation, it's adding a lot more intensity to the arms. Rotate and down. Oh. Okay, just drop the dumbbells. Shake it out a little bit. Next, next workout, round the world. You can do this workout without any weights again. It's not an easy workout, but if you want to challenge yourself, grab your weights, okay? So beginner, this is the movement. Imagine you have two dumbbells in front of you. Just lift them up, go around the world, right at the top, and again, bring them back down for both arms to meet in front, okay? So bring it up and bring it back down. Let's go with dumbbells. Facing front, up. Bring it back down, together, up. Good, bring it back down. Remember, your goal is to keep your arms as straight as possible. Down again, tighten your core, do not hunch or arch your lower back. Down, control, up, straight arms, and back down. Again, up, Whew. straight arms. If you need to, bend your elbows slightly. Last one more, up, and just relax my favorite tricep workout, kick back, okay? So again, stand shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward, bend slightly from your waist, lift both dumbbells up, keep your arms close to your waist and just bring and lift the dumbbells back and control down, lift it up, squeeze your triceps, control down and again, kick it back, control it back down, okay? So nice and controlled, do not rush the workout. Do not swing your arms or use momentum to lift the dumbbells up, okay? So nice and controlled, up, squeeze, hold it, one count, bring it back down. Good, up again, control and down. Very good, up, nice and controlled. And remember, to lock and keep your elbows close to your body at all times, good. Few more, up, squeeze your triceps right at the top, up, squeeze, back down. One more, up and squeeze. Very well done. One more workout and you will get a one minute break, okay? Plank twist. For this, you will need a mat. So get down on the mat with both dumbbells, okay? Get into a high plank. What I want you to do is rotate, twist, lift one dumbbell up, control, bring it back down. Again, rotate, 
lift the other dumbbell up, control down, and repeat. Good, there you go. So use the strength from your core and your arms to lift the dumbbell up. Again, rotate, strong core, strong shoulders, strong arms. Very nice. The more you tighten your abs, the better balance and control you will have. Do more, keep going, alternate. If you need to, spread your legs slightly wider to find that balance, okay? Very nice. Nice. Remember to breathe, breathe. One more and relax. Very well done. So that was the first set. Now take a short break, grab some water, wipe your sweat. We want to go for another two more rounds, okay? Take this time to adjust your weights as well. If you find that the dumbbells are too heavy, go for lighter dumbbells. If you find that it's too light, then push yourself and lift heavier, okay? So take this time to adjust your weight because what is important is that you push your muscles in order to see results. <clears throat> ah. Again, shake your arms out, okay? Just relax a little bit. Right, you have about 20 seconds left. Relax your shoulders, roll, spread them, stretch them out a little bit, twist, stretch, and bring them together, okay? Good, shake it out. I told you, your arms would be on fire. Right, grab both dumbbells. Let's start with Scarecrow Squeeze. Good. Lift them up to the side, L raise and squeeze your chest, squeeze your arms, reverse the movement and back down, up, L, remember to keep it a nice 90 degree angle, good, again up to the side and squeeze, your arms will only get stronger by doing all these exercises, okay? I know that most ladies, we do not like upper body workout because to be honest, it is not easy. It is challenging because your upper body muscles are smaller. Therefore, it takes a lot more effort to work on them and to get them strong and lean. Keep going. Last one. Spread them to the side. Up and squeeze and shake it out. Relax, roll a little bit, okay? Second workout, upright row with front raise, okay? This workout is to work on the front part of your shoulders as well as your arms. Right, relax and ready or not, let's go. Upright row, just under your chest and front raise, okay? Keep your knees slightly bent as well. Tighten your core and remember do not arch or hunch forward. Good, upright row, forward, just under your chest and good. Spread your elbows to the side, okay? Again, with every movement, it's all about control. So up fast, control it down. Up again, one count, control down. Good. So breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, there you go. Nice, nice and controlled. Bend your knees, tighten your core, and that will help you to increase your energy as well. Nice, a few more. Last one, and shake it out. Drop one dumbbell, okay? Steering wheel. So imagine you're driving the car, you're going high speed, you're racing, and you're just being in control of the steering wheel, okay? So both dumbbells in your hands. Let's go. Lift it up all the way. Do not drop it. Left and right, twist, left and right. Do not drop the dumbbell, okay? That is your challenge. Good. And keep the dumbbell at your eye level. So not too low or not too high, eye level. Good, keep twisting, left to right, and left to right, really rotate. <sighs> Woo, you're halfway there, keep going. Feel your muscles. <sighs> keep pushing, do not drop now. <sighs> when it's hard, that's when you hold on and you keep pushing. Last few more, three more seconds, last two, and rest it out, oh my gosh. Oh, shake it out a little bit. I am extremely sore, okay? Shake it out. Let's grab both dumbbells and let's get into weighted punches. So left leg forward, right leg back. Up, jab, punch, good. Twist slightly. And again, dumbbells 
eye level. Good. Keep punching. Straight punches, okay? Do not drop below your eye level. Keep punching. Nice. Again, beginners, if this is too far, too tough, drop the dumbbells and just use your body weight. Twist and work on your hips at the same time. Good. <sighs> Arms on fire, baby. Let's go. Let's keep pushing. This is another new year, new challenge for you, okay? We're in month two, we only get stronger. Every month, every week, you only get stronger. Good. One more and shake it out. Reverse fly with rotation. Choose your option. You can start with reverse fly without rotation, okay? And remember, remember to keep your elbows slightly bent, okay? That will make it easier. So let's go, bend down, reverse fly, rotation, bring it back down, close it. Good, up, squeeze your upper back, rotate through your shoulders, through your arms. Again, squeeze your upper back, shoulders and arm work, and back down. Up, rotate, good, and back down. Woo! Keep going. I can feel you. Let's not stop right now. We are halfway through the workout. Okay, halfway through the second set. And you have one more to go. <sighs> Strength training, this type of training, is really good to increase muscle density as well as to burn fat. Ha! Ah, shake it out! Around the world, my favorite workout. It's a love-hate relationship. It's not easy, but it's extremely effective, okay? So roll your shoulders a little bit, let's go. Palms facing forward, dumbbells close together. Let's lift both dumbbells up, straight arms. Bring it back down, control. Again, up. Use your core strength, bend your knees slightly, find your balance. Again, up, squeeze, squeeze. Control down, good, up. And down, okay? If at any point this is getting too difficult, feel free to drop the dumbbells. I want you to complete the workout, all right? Up, straight arms, drop it down, control. Few more, give me two more. Up, back down, last one more. Up, Woo! straight arms, good. Control, nice and down, and shake it out. Right, drop your dumbbells, just give me a little bit of twist. Shake it out, release that tension on your arms and your waist. Let's go for tricep kickbacks. Both dumbbells up, bend from your waist. And remember, keep your arms close to your body at all times and kick both dumbbells back. Kick it back, control, elbows nice and easy, elbows pointed back, okay? Do not spread your elbows to the side, this is wrong. So up, control down, kick it back, nice and control, good. There you go, squeeze your triceps right at the top of one count before bringing it back down. Up, nice and control. Up, whew. keep going, feel your triceps, let's lean up those flabby arms, bingo wings, whatever you want to call it, let's get it lean up, okay? Up, control down, and relax. Right, final workout, get into a high plank, it's going to be a high plank twist, okay? And you will get another one minute break after this. So let's go, get into a high plank, dumbbells on the floor, okay? Let's twist and lift one dumbbell up. Control down, twist, and nice and control, okay? Tighten your core, do not pike your butt too high up or do not arch your lower back. Nice and control, find your balance, okay? Right at the top, nice and control it back down, good. Again, very nice. You're at the end of set number two. Look the opposite side. Look up. Twist and look up. Less than 10 seconds. Twist. Good. Control. Twist. Last one. And relax. Oh, well, well done. Second round. It is only going to get tougher, okay? Because your muscles are going to get more sore. So take this time, shake it out, relax, stretch it out a little bit, drink some water, keep yourself hydrated, 
and let's go for one more round, okay? You got this. Keep yourself hydrated, all right? It's important to keep yourself hydrated throughout the workout. Okay, I am sweating and I hope that you're sweating with me. Oh, sweat always get into my eyes. Shake it out a little bit. Let's go. Big circles, okay? Stretch, loosen up the joints. Twist. 15 more seconds. Good, 10 seconds left, okay? Third and final set. Grab both dumbbells. Oh, scare, crow, squeeze, let's go. Both dumbbells facing each other, up and squeeze it, good. You know what, let's just make it more fun, okay? Up, squeeze it, bring it up, bring it back down, spread it open and bring it back down, good. So we're adding a shoulder press, okay? So straight shoulder press and spread it out, bring it back down, good. Again, up, squeeze the chest together, straight up, back down, open it, good. There you go. This workout is really good because it's working on your mobility, it's working on every angle as well. <sighs> Keep going. Squeeze it, shoulder press, and give me one more, all right? Up, together, shoulder press up, spread it out, and rest it out. <sighs> Ready or not, let's work on the front part of your shoulders as well as your arms, upright row to front raise, okay? So remember, do not lift it too high up. It's just below your chest level and point your elbows back, okay? Ready, let's go. Up, back down, control. Front raise, good. So suck your belly in, tighten your abs and really work on your upper body, good. Okay? Find that base. Keep your lower body strong, okay? Keep your lower body grounded. Avoid too much of swing, okay? If you're finding yourself doing this, this is wrong, okay? So find your base, keep yourself grounded, use your upper body strength to lift the dumbbells up. Good. A few more. Front raise. Last one and shake it out. Right, drop one dumbbell, steering wheel, okay? This workout looks so simple. So little movement, yet when you are trying to keep that dumbbell up, it really challenges on your arms as well as your shoulders, okay? So both dumbbells, ready? Both arms straight up, let's go. Left and right, left and right. You can also hold a plate and do this movement, okay? Or even a ball, it's up to you. Whatever you have at home, use that, good. Keep twisting, control, nice and control. Do not rush the workout, okay? Good, keep going. Halfway there. Oh, this workout always gets me. Just gets me right on my shoulders and my arms. No matter how many times I do this workout, it just gets tougher, man. Let's go. Few more. Oh, last one. And, oh, oh, drop it out, drop it, drop it, drop it. Shake it out a little bit, okay? Just shake it out a little bit. Roll your shoulders a little bit, weighted punches, all right? Let's go. Grab both dumbbells, one leg forward, one leg back, both dumbbells up. Punch, give me a jab and a cross, good. Remember to guard your face as well, okay? So keep the dumbbells close to your face and punch forward, straight forward. Find one point and punch straight forward. Good. So if you're doing this, this is wrong, okay? Find one point right in the center and punch straight. Good, keep going. Twist slightly, use the strength from your core and drive it from your hips as well. Keep going, punch forward. Good. Few more, 10 more seconds, punch. Twist, twist. Come on, I want to see those punches. Good. Strong punches. Oh, one more. And relax. Shake it out, shake it out. Every time, you know, we put this kind of workout together, we're like, yeah, we can do that. And by the time we get to set number three, it's only tougher, but it is so effective. Let's go reverse fly and rotation, okay? 
So reverse fly, squeeze your upper back and bring it back down. Rotate, hover, rotate and back down. Good. Hover for one count, rotate and bring it back down. Nice. Woo. Keep going. You only have three workouts left, okay? Only three exercises after this. Up, twist. Keep your elbows slightly bent. Up and twist. Good, there you go. Up, squeeze, twist. Back down. Few more, give me one more, okay? Nice rotation, let's go. Nice rotation and back down. Shake it out a little bit. Oh, I am sweating. I can see my sweat dripping. Right, next workout, round the world, okay? So choose your option with or without dumbbells. Keep your lower body grounded on the floor, palms facing forward, and let's go up, straight up, and back down, okay? Again, if you find yourself doing this, this is wrong, okay? Do not swing your body. So the strength is coming from your shoulders and your arms, okay? Keep your lower body grounded, good. Push it up and bring it back down. Tighten your core. Up and down. Minimal movement from your lower body and your core, okay? Good. Keep going. Nice, nice and controlled. Up and back down. A few more up. Down. One more. Up and back down. Tricep kickbacks. Shake your arms out a little bit. Arm circles. Good. Stretch it out. Right. Last two workouts. Let's go. Keep your knees bent. Elbows lock close to your body. Tricep kickbacks. Control. Remember, hover for one count, hold it for one count and bring it back down. Kick back and bring it back down. Again, what you want to avoid is swinging or using momentum to lift the dumbbells up, okay? Close to your body. Kick it back. Nice and control. And kick it back. Good. There you go. Keep going. Up and down. Very good. Okay? Right. See this? I want you to lock your elbows and kick the dumbbells back and control, okay? Lock it. Elbows pointed back at all times. Good. Keep going. A few more. Elbows pointed back. Dumbbells close to your body. Very good. Last one more. And drop the dumbbells. Plank twist. So get into a high plank and twist each side. All right, let go, let's go. Ah, oh, let go. <laughs> right, let's go, high plank. Okay, let's go, twist. If you need to, spread your legs slightly wider to find that balance, good. And look high up to the side that you're twisting. Look up, find that balance, bring it back down, and look up, good. Final workout. You got this, you're strong. And we get to cool down together after this. Who's excited? Let's go. Up, back down. You have 10 seconds left. What is 10 seconds, eh? You have done 25 minutes of workout. Let's go, back down, twist, down, and rest it out, good. Right, just stand up, okay? No more dumbbells. No more weights, let's just relax and rotate your shoulders and your arms, okay? So again, big circles to the back. Oh. Big circles forward. And just slowly bring your heart rate back down, okay? And now spread your arms to the side with your thumbs pointed up, okay? Good, just spread it open. Chest out, push your chest up. You should feel the chest, uh, the stretch on your chest as well as your upper back. And now both thumbs pointing down. For this, you will feel more stretch on your biceps. Okay, thumbs pointing down. All right, now open and close to stretch on your chest as well as your upper back. Again, open, close, good. Open. Close it. Give you two more, right? On this. 
One more on this. And now, just shake it out. If you enjoy this workout and you want more live classes, be sure to check out my fitness app, Feel, on the App Store, okay? Download the app and you get to try it out for free for the first two weeks. You will get daily live classes every single day to work on your total body. And trust me, if you keep your workout consistent, you will see results. If your arms are on fire, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel for a lot more workout videos, workout challenges, fitness tips, as well as healthy and yummy recipes. All the best and check out for you.